Hi, I'm Michael and welcome to Tamanuri Studio. Today I will show you uh, how to make Nanako Nuri. Uh, Nanako Nuri means exactly, or more or less, like painting with a uh, fish axe. Actually, it looks like fish axe or might look like fish axe or caviar once it's done, but it's made with rapeseed. And what you see here is me uh, selecting just the best rapeseed. I feel like Cinderella sometimes doing that, but I need only the roundest and uh, uniform uh, size and whole seeds uh, to be selected. So I made this a uh, board, this grid, this jig uh, for uh, separating those broken ones from the whole ones and the roundest ones. The roundest will roll better. So I just tilt this board a little bit and let them roll down. And those which are broken or halved or not really round will stop much sooner than those perfectly round, which will go further and drop to this uh, container. Uh, it takes a long time, but makes a lot of sense. Uh, here are the pens I prepared for lacquer ring. And uh, of course, I will first filter the lacquer. I mixed it with pigments before, and uh, I put uh, mixed uh, urushi to small tubes. They're very convenient to use. And uh, I advise to get somewhere. It's very difficult to find those small ones with the narrow exit, but uh, try to find them and use them because it saves a lot of urushi, a lot of time and a lot of hassle and cleaning and so on. Uh, I use uh, the filtering paper, uh, Miyoshi Nyongani, uh, and uh, just press it on the on my workspace. Uh, this time it's a green urushi, but in later parts of the same video you will see different colors because making nanakonuri takes quite a lot of time. So uh, you need to do it well in a space of two or three weeks or even more. So I decided to use several different pens to, to show you. I'm cleaning the pen and uh, we will start with some lacquering first. Uh, the brush must be cleaned, of course. And first I rinse it off with uh, turpentine, then uh, push the turpentine out with the spatula and repeat it several times. Uh, but then there is a second step. I use the rest of Orushi, which is in the paper, and uh, I use it also to clean the brush. Uh, I work it in the br bristles and will push it out again. And then I will use the Orushi I filtered a moment ago. Uh, excuse the shaking camera, it's connected to my table, and when I push hard on the bristles and on the table it moves so I need to do something with that. Uh, I thought it I was I had a brilliant idea with one uh, one leg very complicated um, uh, stand for my camera but it is it works only if I'm not moving too much. Okay so green I uh, of course it's Mm, already painted green. I do not want to risk any over sanding uh, showing the background. So there are two layers of green already on the pen. And this one will be thicker uh, than usual. I will apply quite a lot of urushi and will try to make it as even as possible. And that's a very important thing with uh, Nanakonoi. Now I'm cleaning the brush from all the debris and uh, dust and lint I could find. I can use uh, just good non, uh, tape, not leaving any glue residue. Find something for delicate paint jobs, I think. Uh, it should work. And apply Urushi. Uh, as I said, the most important thing is to have this layer pretty thick, but very, very even. So uh, 
take your time and make sure it's even make sure there are no lint in the in the layer remove them and and uh, rebrush it and try to make it as even as possible it will take some time so i will leave you for a moment to it uh, next step will be sprinkling the selected drape seat on the on the pen uh, this selecting was i showed you only just one step but actually it's several steps because uh, when you buy rape seat i buy uh, it in a kilogram packs uh, you have to clean it first so I sieve it several times and I uh, put it in the uh, very large container so much much larger than just one kilogram I, I need to I need to select and I use compressed air to blow the dust off as as well as possible I sieve it several times just to make the size of the uh, uh, of the seeds as uniform as possible. So I sieve it for, through the very uh, small, um, uh, smaller uh, sieve than the seeds I want to have to get rid of any broken pieces and uh, dust. And then again, I sieve it through the uh, sieve, the size, more or less the size of the pieces of the of the seeds I want to get, a little bit larger, to to get rid of any stones, any unusual large, unusually large uh, seeds, uh, and. Uh, then I make this separation thing I showed you before uh, a minute ago. It works really well, but it takes a very long time to prepare uh, 200 grams of uh, rapeseed, which is a useful amount for what I'm doing right now. Uh, you, well, I, I usually spend an hour or two just selecting rapeseed uh, on this board, not to mention any sieving or uh, or picking out any larger pieces I want to get rid of. Uh, sprinkling this rapes, it uh, makes a lot of difference depending on from what height and how much at the same time you are dropping on the pen and the thickness of the layer and the thickness of Urushi, stickiness of Urushi, uh, it all makes uh, a difference in the final pattern. I have applied uh, rapeseed to all parts of the pen and now it will go to the 404 anything from four days to two weeks depending on color and type of urushi used. Uh, the next step is to taking the rapeseed, rapeseed out of the pen and it will be shown on a different pen. This one was uh, lacquered pink and uh, you can use your hand you can use a spatula or many other tools but be very careful not to destroy the pattern which is below this rapeseed uh, rapeseed uh, sticking to the urushi creates little craters so it creates the shape uh, in the surface of urushi which looks like a crater so there is a uh, raised uh, edges and uh, shallow uh, internal space of this crater. They are more or less round or should be round if you use round uh, seed like grape seed, but it can be other shapes and I can use rice, especially arborio rice used for uh, risotto because it's pretty well for, for the same technique and some other things. I even used a pasta, a small, uh, small mm, pieces of pasta, of Italian pasta. I scrape it off with spatula and my hands, but then inspect the pan for any uh, residue, any pieces of uh, rapeseed that could stay uh, on the pan. Uh, from once in a while I can leave, I, I, I leave accidentally, I, for example I didn't notice a piece of rapes that it can uh, it can show later or even break the surface of urushi and it happened recently 
uh, I try to send my pens finished as good as possible, but uh, well, it happened. Uh, someone found a crack on the surface of Urushi, which was uh, due to the piece of rapeseed which stayed there. So I didn't notice. The pen is coming back to me. I will repair it and, and send back to the to the owner. As you can see, there are some pieces here, the black spots, and I will remove it uh, with the scalpel knife or a special needle uh, because I do not want this situation to repeat any time uh, in the future. So I use the needle and I will pick all the pieces out. Uh, I will probably repeat this procedure several times after this experience with the pen, which uh, had a uh, had this problem. It was it is very small, but still, it I do not like my pens to be uh, judged by something like that. Uh, those pens will go back to Furo because Urushi under the rape seat is not fully cured. Uh, you will see that uh, once you take off the, the rape seat to Urushi in the craters and on the, on the edges of it might not be fully cured and it must be well cured before, before any other step uh, because Urushi will not stick or it will create some other problems. Uh, it's a good moment to check if your layer was uh, smooth and even. Uh, any unevenness will show in the shape of the craters, in the depth of them. And uh, it's wise to be critical and if it's not even, just to send it off and reapply it. Because it will show any unevenness later in the process a lot. So we have our pens fully cured and we can follow with more layers. And the idea is, is to cover this structure, this pattern with several layers of Urushi and sometimes um, powders like uh, silver, gold or leaves or uh, pigments or pigments mixed with, uh, <laughs> with metal powders uh, to create the final pattern. Uh, I usually use metallic powders in my process, not always, but most of the pens on this one I will use one, but it's a, uh, it's a process for another video uh, I will make soon and uh, will show you the rest in the part two of making Nanakonuri. This part two is very similar to uh, Kavarinuri or Karanuri uh, process and the uh, common, uh, common area is that you first create the three-dimensional pattern on the structure, on the surface of the pen, some kind of a structure, and then cover it with many layers of Urushi of different kind and send it back to make it flat, make it smooth and show the pattern. Uh, created by those uh, structures below. You just cut through uh, many layers of Urushi and you have to think uh, upside down. So what you apply first will show as a design, as a pattern on the pen. Pretty uh, interesting procedure. That's all and i hope you liked it please like and subscribe and not to miss any of my future videos and see you later bye